Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the network printer installation wizard is unable to install the printer and access is denied. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter here. And then I'd recommend following along with the on-screen automated diagnostic tools here that it suggests. So just go ahead and follow along with trying to connect to your printer. However, if you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. Type in GP edit, best results, should come back up edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath computer configuration, you want to double click on the Windows settings folder. Same thing for security settings. Should be local policies, double click on that. And then user rights assignment. Just left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to locate something that says load and unload device drivers right here and double click on that. You want to select the add user or group, select the advanced button, and then select where it says find now. Locate your user account name on this list and then select OK and then select OK again and then select apply and OK. And now you want to back up on the left side here. Underneath computer configuration, double click on the administrative templates folder this time. And there should be a printers folder, just left click on that. And then on the right side, locate something that says disallow installation of printers using kernel mode drivers, double click on that. And you want to set it to disabled. And then select apply and OK. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match, let's say command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in GP update space forward slash force, exactly as you see on my screen, and hit enter. Now it's just going to be updating the group policy. Now you can restart your computer as well, which if for some reason you're still having an issue, I'd recommend doing so. So it should say computer policy update has completed successfully, as well as the user policy update has completed successfully. Close out of here, and I would suggest restarting your computer regardless. I mean, you don't have to, but I, I would suggest doing so. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.